वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स टू आवर लास्ट पोर्शन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर एट दैट्स व्हाट आई टोल्ड यू लास्ट टाइम दैट इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ लॉन्ग चैप्टर वी हैव सो फार फिनिश्ड अप टू चैप्टर नंबर सॉरी द स्लाइड नंबर सिक्सटी फोर विच इज अबाउट मेक और बाय डिसीजंस विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड एंड आई गेव यू सम क्वेश्चन टू सॉल्व एंड प्रैक्टिस so now we will start a new topic in chapter number 8 which is about a budgeting what is budget right as we know that budget is our plan for future right but we put those budgets in quantitative terms so basically budget or mizania is a plan but put in the numeric terms right so budget budget means something before we expect how something would happen budget right so if you remember chapter number 2 we discussed how to calculate uh, income or in other word how we prepare uh, income statement right and then balance sheet right so here we'll see the same thing chapter 2 what we have seen is an actual income statement which we can prepare it after end of a period but here in this portion we look at a budgeted income statement right you see here the end product for a budget is to prepare a budgeted income statement but means expected income statement what do we expect right in chapter 2 what you have learned is the actual income statement so here remember we will look at it how do we prepare a budgeted or expected income statement remember if you are a decision maker you want to see or you want to foresee what you will expect in terms of income statement at the end because remember it's very important for decision makers for owner is to know how much profit they will make at the end so in order to evaluate the performance of managers you want to see how much was the target given to them in terms of profit and how much actually they have achieved so then you can prepare your actual income statement with budgeted income statement and then you can evaluate the performance of those who are responsible so how to start preparing a budget we start from the sales budget you know this is the starting point of a master budget we call it now what is a master budget is a combination of all the budgets include uh, included in order to calculate a budgeted income statement so starting point for a master budget is a sales budget what is sales budget that how much we are expected to sell right a sales department or a sales manager can give you his sales budget that how much he is expected to sell now once you receive this information from a sales manager then it will go to costing right how much we need to cost right those products which we are going to sell it what will be their cost you know uh, this one we are talking about a manufacturing business because you have to manufacture in order to manufacture or in, in order to have a product cost or a manufacturing cost right how do we manufacture when you have your material you have labor and you have overhead so how much expected material we are going to use how much labor we are going to use and how much will be or how much will be estimated overhead so these three we will know what is our product cost from this one from these three we can prepare our cost of goods sold right so sales minus cost of goods sold also our uh, another expense is a selling expense and admin expense budget which we call it non manufacturing cost which are period costs we have seen it already before what are the period costs right non manufacturing costs which are selling and administrative expense budget so at the end you will have your budgeted income statement so that one is basically sales budget minus cost of goods sold minus selling expense minus admin at the end you'll have your budgeted or expected income statement so putting them into numbers is what we call it a master budget how do we prepare 
a master budget for this one we have a given information in our uh, book as well right here this one is how do we are going to get the budget so starting point is a sales budget right the first step in preparing a budget is uh, to have a sales budget right now I'll explain with this example to illustrate if you can read this one here right uh, this is the example that you want to create a sales budget schedule on a quarterly basis projected sales units are 1000 units during first quarter 1200 during second quarter 1300 and 1500 during fourth quarter and the sales price is going to be $15 per unit so what will be standard budget right so how do we prepare right just putting this uh, these information the into a table right expected units to be sold are 1000 in first quarter 1200 in second quarter this is what you will see it here on next slide i'll come to it later this time later. okay yes this is the one we have uh, from that example in our book so expected unit to be sold in first quarter second quarter third quarter fourth quarter multiply by 15 this is our budgeted sales estimated sales in first quarter second third and fourth quarter this is how we prepare a sales budget uh, yeah now the, uh, before we start these are just small question about preparing a production budget right what is the project uh, uh, production budget means how many units we are going to produce or to manufacture how much we are going to sales budgeted sales right how much we are going to sell remember this budget is for if you are responsible for production means you are responsible for making sure that you have enough products available so your job is to manufacture you are an engineer so first thing you need to know how much we are going to sell plus budgeted and then ending inventory we want to have something extra as well right let's say we are going to sell 100 units plus we need to have 10 extra units which we call it budgeted ending inventory minus what is the beginning inventory how much you already have let's say we are starting in this quarter and from last quarter still we have something in our warehouse right so that is our beginning inventory so this is how you calculate budgeted units to produce budgeted sales plus budgeted ending inventory minus beginning inventory right so these are some practice exercises very simple uh, this is not in your book i just put it extra uh, as a practice uh, Orange Corporation has budgeted sales of 16,000. Targeted ending finished good inventory is 4,000. Beginning is 2,000 units. How many units should be produced next year? So this is a yearly budget. So if you know from this one, budgeted sales plus budgeted ending inventory. How much we are going to sell? 16,000 units. Plus how much is the extra? 4,000. 16 plus 420. How much you already have is 2. So using this formula it is 18,000 so this is the answer you can solve it and check by yourself another example for next year Roberto incorporation has budgeted sales of 15,000 targeted ending fin finished good inventory 750 beginning that's right so there is no other inventories are zero so how many units should be produced next year so again using this same method it should be 15,300 units so we must produce 50 this is our production budget for next year 15,300 is the number of units remember is not the amount now this is from uh, coming back to our master budget from this uh, example here right this is in our book it is there So once you have your sales budget, after you have, you have, let's say, you go back here, you have your sales budget. What is the next? You have to prepare your production budget, right? What is the production budget? Right. Now production budget will be how much we are going to produce, units to produce from that one, right? 
how much we are going to produce so I'll show you in our my slides it's the same thing which is here I've done it on here Thanks. now production budget how many units to be produced right first well, let's say what is the given information I will read it here uh, now here now this is what they have in this question from sales budget record the projected number determine the desired number of units to carry in the ending inventory usually the number is a percentage of next quarter in our example we'll assume 20 percent of the budgeted unit will be desirable ending inventory right so 20 percent of budgeted unit will be uh, as a ending inventory additional items right then this is how we should solve it this is the given information in our question so desired ending inventory is 20 percent of the budgeted units beginning inventory is 100 units if you go back right here it will be given ending inventory in our example c is 100 units so now how we are going to prepare now we'll see so once you have your uh, budgeted uh, units to be produced from here is 1000 1200 1300 1500 this is from our sales data right from previous budget this one 1000 1200 1300 1500 this is what we are going to sell so as a production manager this is you must produce right now not only you produce this plus you must produce something extra desired ending inventory that at the end you want to have something extra you know if there is an unexpected demand or unexpected customer so we want to have something extra in our uh, warehouse so what is the extra ending inventory is 20 percent of the units 20 percent of this so what is this one 20 percent of 1000 this is 20% of 1200, 20% this one is 20% of this 0 0.20 multiply by this you can get check it. Same thing here ending inventory is 20% of this is this one. So now basically what we need now total units needed this is what we are going to sell plus this is the extra so we add them 1200 we need total units of 1200 for the first quarter for second quarter for third for four similarly and this is for a year you can just total all of them minus beginning inventory this is what your requirements are and then you went back and check your warehouse how much you have already in your warehouse you find out it is 100 yeah, right so 1200 minus 100 so it means we have to produce 1100 units in first quarter clear now when we go to second quarter ending inventory we we know it here it's given 20 percent what will be the beginning inventory for second quarter this is you need to understand carefully what is the beginning inventory basically it is ending of first quarter whatever was ending inventory of first quarter is a beginning ending means end of a first quarter let's say it was yesterday so we start our day today with this one so ending of first quarter is the beginning of second quarter similarly here third quarter ending of second is beginning of third similarly here ending of third is the beginning of fourth quarter right so this minus this you get these numbers so this is our production budget so total of 5200 are needed for next year this is their distribution for each quarter first quarter second third and fourth quarter this is what you must produce as a production manager or as an engineer you need to produce these items now how to produce remember for a production or a manufacturing you need material 
labor and overhead what will be the expected cost of your material to produce these many units what will be your expected or budgeted cost to produce these units what will be your expected overhead cost right so if you add these three this will become our cost of goods sold so this is what we'll see it in next slide here right so first we look at a material cost uh, this is in your book here i'll just do it uh, very simple instead of going again and again so you continue from the previous how many units we are going to produce 1100 here this one 1100 what is the cost of a unit cost of a material on one unit we are using a, a plastic or some whatever material we are using just make it simple that material cost four dollar to produce one unit so to produce 1100 units you multiply so this is a cost of a material to purchase this is a cost of material for second quarter for third quarter for fourth quarter and this is for annual so this is what we have a um, cost of material to purchase in order to produce these many units clear now we'll see it later on for a material as well sometimes we have a uh, desired ending inventory as well we want to have some extra material as well i'll explain later on on some slides also you can have a, a desired ending inventory for this one for a material what is your beginning uh, inventory we'll see it more detailed later on some example and question you'll see we'll go into even more detail but here we just uh, stop here to see what is the cost of the material next one what is the cost of a direct labor number of units to produce direct labor cost for one unit is 1.27 first quarter second these numbers are given in our book so if you multiply this this is what written in your book basically there is a mistake in a book a typing mistake yes yes you, you see here if you multiply this with this one answer is not 1379 it is 1397 so just check these numbers just a typo mistake so this by this method we have our direct labor budget so now you can see we have already calculated if you know sales budget is done production budget is done direct material budget direct labor budget now we are left with manufacturing overhead budget right which is i'll go back manufacturing overhead budget variable overhead rate is 1.50 per unit it's given already in the uh, in this example in our book overhead budget right is here Right, so what is uh, this one is here 1.50 variable overhead rate is 1.50 per unit right so one point this one variable overhead rate is 1.50 so 1100 units to produce multiply by 1.50 this multiply by 1.50 this and this this is from a production budget now this is variable manufacturing and also there is a fixed manufacturing overhead as well given in this question which is 230 for each quarter the fixed variable 230 this is a variable so just add these two this is our total overhead cost total overhead cost for second quarter third quarter fourth quarter if you add all of them this is annual cost so now we are done with overhead budget right so if you go back i'll explain what i have done here so we have calculated material budget labor overhead if we add these three it will become cost of goods sold budget right so i'll come back here so cost of goods sold 
and so in your book there is a mistake so i just solved it here just to make you easy uh, again this is a material budget again those i just put it in uh, one uh, table to calculate cost of goods sold same thing what we have done before so this is for material cost of material same thing we already cal calculated this is uh, for direct labor this one is for overhead variable overhead and then fixed overhead total overhead so cost of goods sold is 7000 how we calculate cost of goods sold is cost of a material plus cost of direct labor plus cost of overhead which is this one so if you add this one you get your cost of goods sold cost of goods sold is material labor and overhead total overhead if you add this one you get 7000 so this is your cost of goods sold for first quarter for second for third for fourth and anyway. so this is our cost of goods sold and we have cost of goods sold now we can prepare our budgeted income statement sales minus cost of goods sold right sales already we know from sales budget what is the sales budget this one sales this is our sales 15,000 so if I go to this one for first quarter our sales is 15,000 minus 7,000 right uh, okay now we already know our sales uh, cost of goods sold then we have to look at for this question our period costs right what are the period costs this one selling expense and admin budget so what are their budgeted costs for selling expenses and admin so again for this question it is given in the exercise that in selling expenses are 5% of unit sales again if you go back to our exercise for cost of goods sold this was uh, done yes selling expenses budget here right uh, these are the uh, selling expenses right uh, sales commission is 5% of unit sales right and there are some other fixed expenses as well which is also given here you can see it here they are all given 5% of unit sales right so what is a variable expenses which is a commission which is 5% of whatever you say so this is variable like five percent of this this is from sales budget this is already before uh, five percent of this five percent five percent of this is this one five percent is this one so this is if you add all of them total now fixed expenses already given rent every quarter is fixed 500 advertising is fixed other expenses are fixed so total selling expenses are variable plus these three if you add them these three we get our total selling expense for first quarter for second for third for fourth uh, it's not difficult try to solve this one it is easy and have a practice administrative expense budget what are the administrative expenses budget from here uh, it is given there is no variable cost in admin budget all are fixed salaries insurance office supplies so that these are all given right so this is our total admin expense budget these are given in a question these are all in exercises if you uh, look at here admin expenses here this one these are all fixed expenses i just write it from here right salaries insurance supplies other office expense these all are here this and they are fixed there is no variable admin expenses so these are the total admin expense these are all non-manufacturing costs so now we can prepare our budgeted income statement right which is sales minus cost of goods sold sales from the sales budget minus cost of goods sold is a gross income or gross profit minus operating expenses selling expense from the selling budget admin expense from the admin budget so 8000 minus these two we get our operating income 
there is no interest expense. Uh, net income before tax is 3765 because there is no interest. So same number here, right? So net income before tax is this one. And tax is 35% in this example. So 35% of this, 35% of this is this one, 35% of this is this one. So net income after tax is this minus this is 2417 47 3396 similarly for all quarters and this is our annual income statement now this is how you prepare a budgeted income statement this is what we call it budget so we started from a sales budget from, and then cost of goods sold was prepared and then we continued like this one. Now this one is a budgeted, not the actual. In chapter two, what you have learned is actual income statement. This one, remember, you are a decision maker. So this is what you have now in your mind. At the end of a year, you should have 14,507 income. From the beginning or from day one, you know that this is what you will have at the end of a year. If your managers or your employees did not achieve it then it means they did not do their job well or maybe there was a mistake in our budget so let's say if you are confident that your budget is correct then if your employee did not achieve it you have to take some corrective actions or if they achieve it then you have to reward their performance right so this is the purpose of budgeted income statement there are other numbers which we can calculate from uh, this statement is a gross margin right what is a gross margin this uh, a gross margin is gross income divided by sales 53 percent operating margin is operating income divided by sales is this much net profit margin is net profit or net income divided by sales so everything uh, we just check it as a percentage of sales and then you can compare see whether you achieve your objective or not in exercises in exams if we have any let's say you will not have a one question uh, completing a master budget because practically it is difficult to prepare all the budgets in one go right so see you know you cannot prepare all these budgets in one sitting so you might have in questions of one question on sales budget or one on production budget or one on material budget separately or cost of goods sold depending or selling expense budget so you may have individual tables to complete so this is a measure of expected profitability which we already calculated this one these all these three numbers why we calculated them right so this is the detail of those numbers now I put here on uh, some example for you here there are some examples which you need to look at it a sales budget is given below you have a sales budget already given inventory of finished goods at the end of each month must be 5000 plus 10 percent of next month's sale on june 30 means before uh, this one before this month uh, the finished good invent inventory is 6800 given each unit of product requires three ounces of a special liquid extract known as sv6 now extra this material this is about a material this extract or material is short supply for this reason company has a policy of maintaining an inventory at the end of each month equal to half of the next month production need requirement was met on july 1 here of the current year now the question says prepare a raw material inventory budget showing the quantity of this material to be purchased for the month of september so remember that you have to prepare a budget for the month of September. Raw material. Now how do we prepare this budget raw material? Again you should know that uh, if I go back. 
this is the question basically the question says yes this material budget and this is given remember this is given and you have to find this one material now sales budget is given so first of all we need to calculate production budget right that how much we are going to produce then from that one we can calculate a material budget so this is important linkage this is given and this is given in this example so first we calculate this one production budget or product cost or expected cost right from this we will go and see how much material we are going to require for these products So this is a sales budget given July 18,000, August, September, October, November, December. So we are only required to prepare a budget only for month of September. So the production first we need to calculate what is our production requirements. Now what are production requirement? What I will do is I will make a production requirement for uh, one month before September and one month after. Why I need it? Because we needed something. For this reason, I'm just adding some month, one month extra before and after. You can do it directly if you can. This is only requirement, but I just put it the number here and here so that I can easily calculate September. Sales 20,000 from August from here 20,000, September 24. October 26 given add desired ending inventory what is the desired ending inventory it's already given in a question now ending inventory is 5000 units plus 10 percent of next month sale this is given that we want to have something extra what will be the extra it's going to be 5000 let's say what is the ending for August for example here it is 5000 right plus 10 percent of this one which is 2400 right so 5000 plus 2400 is 7400 for september what is the ending in inventory 5000 plus 10 percent of this 10 percent of this is 2600 so 5000 plus 2600 is 7000 this is the ending inventory for october same thing 5000 plus 10 percent of november right which is this one 1900 so 5000 plus 1900 is 6900 so now we have an ending inventory remember the requirement is this column only now Required production unit is this plus this. This is what you need to have 31,600. But we know that in production budget, you have to see how much you have already. The beginning inventory in this question, the beginning inventory in September is what is beginning? Ending of, of August, which is this number, is the beginning of September. So this minus this. So this is our production requirement for. September. Similarly, we do it for October as well. Why I did it? Because I'll show you in next part. I need this number. So that's why I, I calculated also for October. But I did not calculate it for August because I did not need this number. So now we need to produce 24,200. This is our production requirement. Remember the question is the material. How much material is needed for September? This was the question. Now, how to prepare a material budget? This is based on a production requirement, 24,200. Material on one finished product is three ounces given, right? This will give us the quantity of a material we need to purchase. If you multiply by this one, 72,600. This is our material requirements, right? Plus, we want to have some extra material, right? Desired ending inventory, which is given in a question what is the method right that half of the next month production need right what is the production need for our next month half of that one or 50% is our extra inventory so now what is 
the ending inventory for September it is 20 this one 25,300 next month which is October and how much is the material we need multiply by 3 right this is the number of units times 3 so this is the material we need but the rule says that 50% of this we need to have it extra whatever in next month you need as a production planner you need to have 50% of that material in with you as an ending inventory so this is how you calculate this ending inventory for a material so this is your requirement for production this is your extra material so if you add these two this is your required total material to purchase right minus beginning inventory what is the beginning inventory again you go back and see your beginning inventory is what is your beginning inventory how do we calculate remember ending <clears throat> now how do we calculate let's say here august is not given here but what will be the ending of august ending inventory which is this one half of next month production need so what is the ending of august is the beginning of september how do we calculate ending of august which is what is the next month in august 24200 times 3 times 50 percent so this is basically ending of august which will be beginning of september so this minus this this is the material we need to purchase this is the quantity of material which we need to purchase clear so just uh, try solve it again very important question practice another example uh, simple the production manager of miller enterprise plans to have an inventory on the hand at the end of each month which is equal to 150 percent of next month's sale this requirement was met at the end of february a sales budget is given below this is a sales budget march april may june prepare a production budget for month of april and may very simple question uh, you can see here a solution sales plus desired ending inventory what is the ending inventory which is 150 percent of next month sale 150 percent of 50,000 this is ending inventory for March uh, for April 150 percent of 80,000 is this one for May 150 percent of June right which is this one 150 percent of 40,000 this is ending inventory so we just add it this is our production need minus beginning inventory what is the beginning of April ending of March is the beginning of April uh, here beginning of May is the ending of April which is here and this is our production requirement simple so this is end of uh, our chapter so this was the last uh, question we have so I'm going to stop my presentation here. So try to practice these questions, solve them. It will be easy, inshallah. But of course, it was a long chapter. We had almost around uh, uh, close to 80 slides in this sector. So basically, it's a very long chapter. It's not a one chapter. It basically covers four different chapters. But it was included into one chapter, those different concepts. So try to solve the uh, questions which we have discussed. It will be easy. If you don't understand anything, just send me an email. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you very much and best of luck.